Assalamualaikum and good day In this video, I would like to discuss on how to turn probability density function into cumulative distribution function and afterwards, we will sketch it and calculate the probability related to the question Now, before we start, we need to find the interval where the function fx is defined as you can see here, as I highlighted in yellow, that is the interval. So let's uh, put the numbers in the interval in a long number line as I have down here. Okay, so let consider this is a long number line from minus infinity until infinity. So 0 is somewhere here and 4 is somewhere here. And then next, we write the interval in each section that we we just divided okay so this uh, this first section this one is for x less than zero while for this one it means x greater equal to and less than equal four and last but not least this one which x greater than four now after that we put the function that uh, that was defined within the interval given so for example for x less than 0 there is no function defined so let's just put 0 underneath now for the next one from 0 to 4 okay this one this interval the function defined was given in the question x over 8 okay i change it a little bit and last but not least for x is greater than 4 there is no function given from the question therefore the function is 0 now we will start accumulating the function from the, the left hand side which is x less than 0 so let's start get started at f oh sorry not the one okay when x less than 0 at x less than 0 the cumulative function cumulative distribution function is the integration from minus infinity up until x please bear in mind we want function so it always up to x we always integrate it up to x okay and then in terms of x now what is the function defined in the interval this is the function okay therefore we have zero so afterwards we were, we go we are going to use the fx that we got and then we substitute the upper limit in the interval so as we can see here the upper limit in the interval is zero that's why we substitute zero inside it since fx equals zero f zero is also zero let's move on to the next um, next column maybe before that i will do that line okay perfect now for this one at zero four the cumulative distribution function is a sum of f zero <coughs> <coughs> excuse me okay it's f0 plus integration from 0 to x so make sure the this figure is equal to this one is equal to this one and is equal to this one as well and then we integrate in terms of x what is the function this is the function okay and then f0 as we all know it's 0 so just let it be and proceed with the integration so x square over 16 x0 then let's substitute so we want to substitute x inside x square it means we made it empty okay and then we substitute the first term with the upper limit x and the lower and the uh, lo uh, lower limit with 0 therefore it's x squared over 16 
and then afterwards we substitute f the big f that we get this one with the upper limit of the function in this interval from 0 to 4 the upper limit is 4 so let's substitute the function with 4 4 squared is 16 it's 1 okay uh, a quick tip when we have <coughs> when we separate the this number line into several columns as you can see here we have a total of three columns if if we get one if we get one as our value of big f for the second last column most likely we will we are on the right track okay so since i got here one so i shouldn't be worried about my previous working now let's move on to the last one the last one at at x greater than four okay the cumulative function is f4 plus integration from 4 until infinity in terms of x. What is the function? That is the function. Just bring it down here. Copy paste. Okay. So f4 we got from here is 1. We bring it up top here. And then the integration of 0 is 0. Therefore, it's 0. So... This is the fx equals 1 and then the sec the middle column we have x squared over 16 as the fx and the right the left column we have fx equals 0 as the function so to express it in terms of to express the final answer we must express it in terms of uh, a piecewise function so since we have three separate interval okay the ones in purple here okay just copy paste all of them one by one okay down here x less than zero x four and then x greater than four since now for for this one there are just three uh, rows so we have to bear in mind in big f in big f the probability must start with zero and ends with one so the one that we need to fill up is only the middle one which is this function okay so x squared over 16 so def, def so we already answer the first question okay let's move on to the second one sketch the graph y fx okay now in order to sketch this, once again we oh I have to rub this off today. Okay, let's uh, let's proceed with forming uh, three separate intervals on a number line. So let's put zero and four here. So let's represent this interval first. It's a uh, open circle going towards my left and the function is 0. And for this one, it's then circle and also a then circle on top of 4 with x squared over 16 as the function it's 2 it's 2 back maybe I drag it a little bit further down ok perfect ok and last but not least uh, this interval it's open and going to the right with 1 as the function now let's find next step is to get the coordinates of the circles that we put, get here so this coordinate is just simply zero and we substitute in zero function we get y zero for this one the coordinate is when x is zero the y is zero as well okay this one when we substitute four we will get 1 
and for this one when we substitute 4 we get 1 so from here from this uh, number number line okay it help us to sketch the function better so this is x and this is bfx okay so the first the first circle is at 0 0 the origin and a, we need a dense circle on top of 4 and 1 maybe somewhere here so that is that is 4 and this is 1 it's a quadratic function and it's a positive quadratic so we are expecting a smiley curve okay then that is for the middle one okay for that is for this one for this one is just a zero y equals zero function so it's just the same line on top of x axis and last one here is one is a constant function so it's just a horizontal line going there so this is the function that answer the question let's proceed to the last one we are going to find the probability of x between 2 and 3 okay. so since we already have uh, a cdf from the previous part we might as well use it in our in at our advantage so for this one remember we take more and then we minus the one we do not want okay we do not want less than two so uh, to substitute three okay we substitute three inside the function okay and then minus two two also the same function so we have 9 over 16 minus 4 over 16. Eh, sorry. 16. Therefore, we have 5 over 16. Thank you for your time and attention. Assalamualaikum and good day.